Hello and welcome my friends. It's the Telecom War. T1KT. Who goes to Worlds? Probably. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. But if this fails, which it will not, stop jinxing it. This could even be the last series, the last matches of our lovely T1 roster. I can never pronounce Zofkuk or whatever. You know what it is. Let's just hope in the last couple of days T1 has been days right the last two days t1 has been able to adjust talk about their issues find someone to tell them what to do and then hopefully it will work out against kt yeah i'm late i'm just, this video comes out probably like what 20 hours later than uh, the series or something it's called work it sucks but uh, you gotta pay for your roof hopefully t1 doesn't have to pay the price for their uh yeah poorer summer performance uh yeah let's just get into the draft and yeah, I mean, small draw ban on blue side, it's always sus, right? We ban Jin, so Jin, Zix. It's not the same, but there's like at least a bit of a trade off. So if we ban Jin, it's like we want to pick Zix. On the other side, they ban the Sejuani away from Owner, one of his, let's say, better champions right now. <laughs> well, they also pick away the Lilia, right? Because we they know we are going to pick the Zix if they leave it open. So they know they can pick the Lilia on uh, R1, R2. It's not even bad, so that's that. I'm not sure if Pyoshik likes it, but I don't even know. Um, and yeah, other bands. I mean, this leaves Azir open. Obviously, BDD doesn't mind playing it. And he also doesn't mind playing the Yon, which he used to absolutely destroy the FearX lineup. Well, Yon is quite good right now. Obviously, AD champions in the mid lane are a bit more prevalent than uh, they used to be. Well... It's nothing new. We have seen lots, lots, lots of games on this patch, and I don't know what the hell is this, uh, what's his name, Skarna doing here. Uh, Skarna versus Lilia. I think it's okay. Reggie is jumping around, jump, jump, jump. And uh, yeah, he just uh, ults her, and that's that. Um, obviously, he will be out farmed, and so on and so on. And we just want owner. I mean, is Skarna like a ganking jungler? Well, kinda, not really. I just want uh, to see owner just fuck farming, right? And just camp, lanes, make plays, do everything, anything. Talk with carrier and just set up anything. Just do something and uh, yeah, that's just what we want to see. We see all kinds of uh, like vans in the direction of topside, right? Uh, there's no Jax, there's no Rumble, there is no Camille, there is no Olaf and now the Kisante himself has been picked up for perfect. Perfect versus Zeus should be. Oh, we get secret intel here. What's this? Ah, uh, okay. Um, whatever. So, oh, the vein and Leona, Poppy, Poppy is K. Leona is also K. Both are okay. Ah. Uh, I don't think, I, as much as I love Bard, I think Bard's really good if you can play it, and Carrier certainly can. Uh, I don't think this is a Bard angle at all. I think Poppy is just too good against uh, too many of the champions. Sure, you can argue Leona can, uh, I don't know, interrupt the uh, Misfortune old or whatever, but yeah, whatever. Okay, it's very interesting, it's very interesting. We have to play our lane swaps very interestingly as well, due to the simple fact that, uh, yeah, we have a vein top lane that uh, can be... Uh, in quite a few dangerous situations. They're going to pick up the Senna for Barrel, obviously Barrel Carrier. Uh, yeah, yeah. We don't we don't talk at all about any types of storylines, at least not for now. Uh, yeah, so top lane matchup is winning, jungle matchup is losing, but I just want to see owner make plays and uh, I think making plays, ganking, supporting the lanes. I think the Skarna can do just that. Mid lane matchup, Faker has comfort. Um, Let's talk about it now, before I forget. Faker practiced Riven mid yesterday. Uh, there were already, like, obviously when something like this happens, like 20 million YouTube videos about it, uh, he lost the game, but his performance was pretty good. Uh, sure, some uh, mishaps, right? And I don't think it's going to come out, right? It is a Yon counter in the top lane, but obviously mid lane is a bit different. and. Riven is not a champion that you can just pick up and uh, yeah, just throw into uh, yeah, uh, 
uh, an LCK stage, let's just call it that. So bot lane situation is going to be a bit rough, right? Double support, uh, double range versus uh, Zix and uh, the Poppy as a like, melee support. Fighting! T1! Ooh. Damn. Damn, the KT fans were louder than us? Jesus. No, 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 Zeus, watch out! This is not bad, this is not bad, doesn't matter. That's the slam. Ignite and Zix gets it first, but to T1. Man, we need to be super online. Oh my, oh my, it's a disaster. Let's go. Double kills for Kubayushi. Let's go. He bases, tier, cooldown reduction shit, and. Two potions, nice. Uh, so obviously, no real like, what is it? Uh, summoner spells or whatever you use. And it's a Zix getting a tier early. On the scale of like mattering, it's not that high. But it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. We take it. We take it absolutely. But uh, yeah, this is very rough for perfect. But this is exactly what we need to do. Comfort for Faker. Very overpowered champions for bot lane because that's bot lane. And uh, yeah, very nice. Vayne picks up a kill as well. Owner, first time. Like obviously the two assists from level one are a bit like inflated, but this is a f like it feels like the one of the first times in a long time where you see my boys uh, owner like impact the map, do something, just great. But yeah, I mean this meta is just really not good uh, for us right now. Like Faker, who is still, I mean his hand injury like should have gotten better, right? But uh, his hands are probably not all too great. And I mean, playing AD carry, maybe it's just me, but uh, like my hands hurt more after like playing like some AD carry games uh, than just like normal control mages, right? Okay. A bit rough, especially with Pyoshik joining. There is the bomb, we get barrel, but what is the end of this? Well, BDD doesn't have too much left in the tank anyway, and owner is decently tanky. He's just cruising through the walls nice side steps again so it costed uh, at least two summoner spells do we lose anything in the side lanes no not really so uh yeah we're going to get uh, the dragon the kill sure again summoner spells we'll have to see if that is something that kt can punish but uh, let's just hope the answer to that is no no he misclicked i mean it worked it worked but oh my, carrier, very nicely done. The, shh, shh, casters, shh, don't say anything. Don't say anything. It worked out. Okay, Zeus gets ulted here. Owner is around. But oh my god, what is that? Carrier gets a solo kill. Woo, 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 woo. Uh, uh, nothing happened there. Uh, so yeah, actually that's bad, but Faker picks up the first blood turret in the bot lane. Uh, actually, mid lane turret is also dead. I am not paying attention. <laughs> I think we lost the game where he played Poppy in the uh, DK series, but uh, it's okay. Anyway, Faker benefiting. Oh, nom 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 nom. Oh, into the wall, into the bomba. Oh, oh my, oh my. 7 1. Yeah, I'm an expert on that scoreline. Flash. And yeah, he's pretty uh, squishy. And now we're overextending. Um, yeah. Ah, great bait by barrel. Mm, yes, mm, yes. Uh, you you forgot something there on your mouth. Carrier, where are your friends? Faker is not around. Actually, Zeus teleported. Oh, Faker hits an old man. This is also something that we didn't see in a long time. E condemn and the charge into the wall as well. And then Zeus is here, gets rooted by the W and the Kisante. Oh my God, it's cringe. My fucking no. If anyone, nah, 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 nah. You do, you take your fucking KT dick out of your mouth, man. Nah, BDD was fucking cooked by the T1 combo there. No way you actually turn it around and say, mm, yes, oh uh, yeah, barrel. You're obviously uh, owner charging forward. I, I don't think you can cancel it. I, I honestly have not played the new Skarner once, so I wouldn't know. X-Flag 
yeah, he just goes in, and obviously there's the TP. Dev just uh, gets killed. Faker hits an old great flashes the BDD old. BDD gets uh, yeah manhandled against the the wall. But yeah, this is just oh my god the vision. Remove all fucking brushes from the map, man. It's so cringe. By the way, uh, two item six, two item six. My god. And then Faker opening up the roads, man. Construction work worker Azir. The only way we uh, die, obviously our team comp is squishy in nature for most part anyway. Oh, bleat. Oh my god, Carrier, that was mega cook. Old BDD away. Pyoshik stopwatches, fakers. Oh my god, look, look at this man! It's again and again, it's the same shit. People get away with a sliver of HP. Look at that first, uh, the third time this game. Absolutely disgusting. Uh, nicely played by Carrier, man. He absolutely cooked there. But uh, yeah, he was a bit greedy, but I mean, if they send four. It's what it is. Um, but yeah, I mean, why is he stepping forward? There are clearly three people there. And he's like, yeah, la 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 la. Yeah. I mean, Kerry did that so well, but Barrel and Deft would have like kill killed him anyway. Faker here tries to open up the roads, but uh, yeah, Pyoshik, I don't know, just says he is sick and as such construction works are being halted for now. So yeah, Baron here is just a non-factor. Obviously, it's going to be absolutely destroyed. They can attempt to stop us, but uh, yeah, there's Zix. That was not the biggest ult, but it's enough, right? Baron damage is high. They have to walk through Zix. There's no way. I mean, we even had Poppy ult and Faker's gates. Uh, so yeah, there's just not much Pyoshi could have done. So uh, yeah, next inhibitor is being attacked. Owner flashes forward, gets the flash from two people, right? BDD and oh wait, are they attacking us? Zeus is getting low and he dies, but I mean, at what is the, what, what cost? Faker doesn't even have to open up the gates. I mean, he doesn't have them anymore. Carrier, watch out. But yeah, this game has been an absolute stomp. Man, we puff our chest up and say T1, woo! And uh, yeah, uh, are happy and confident to go into game number two. I just really hope that this is not going to be one of these videos where we start smiling and then as this video and the series progresses, my smile turns into a very sad face. I just don't hope uh, that's going to happen. Anyway, great game by T1. KT kind of helped. They didn't play good League of Legends and made poor choices. But I think we saw some semblances of issues being fixed. Or like better. Improvement is the word. Enough of that. Game number two, it is. It... T1, let's go, let's crack it open, man. Let's crack it open, this fucking sugary mess. Don't, just drink water, don't drink alcohol, don't do drugs, don't drink energy drinks. It's not good for you to drink water, but enough of that, enough of health and life advice. Uh, T1, they ban Smolder, just great. A game without Smolder is a game that is without Smolder. Great. Okay, so, KT, they ban again, the Sejuani against Owner. Because that's see, well, that's his only good champion, but hey, he shows up on the Skarner. Uh, that champion um, looked good, looked good. Tristana ban here against T1. Sure, Tristana, uh, historically a Faker champion. Rumble is available, but honestly, do, like, do you want to pick Rumble? Do you want to pick Rumble? We get Zix and I don't know what else. And then on R4 or R3, we actually, what would be a good moment where we counter pick top lane here? Because there are like quite a few champions that we want to uh, play. Right, Jin is open with Zix. So that's that. Vi is also open. So Vi, Zix. Ramus. <laughs> ah, Pyoshik. Ki oh, Kindred? Okay, okay. Okay, now Riven. No, Riven is R5. Now I think um, would be a good moment to uh, get counter picks in for top lane. I don't know what the counter pick would be. I think Rumble has like some issues against other range tops. I don't think there's a melee champion that can deal with Rumble right now. Orn. Oh, 
What? Like top lane pick here is correct. But Orn? I think Orn could also be a flex for support. Right, SKT, you should look at a Senna ban. Uh, because, I mean, they could they could rotate Zix to a different lane. Because you could, in theory, flex Zix, no? I think Zix is decently flexible. Like, obviously, it's a historically a mid laner. You could put it in bot lane in Guma's hand again, and he played a phenomenal Zix game. Um, but, I mean, I think there is flex potential, right? So, uh... Is it realistic? I mean, we're talking about T1. I just really want to cope and uh, hope that we get the Riven R5. R5 Riven, come on, give it to me, Faker. I mean, I, I honestly don't know if I want it. Yeah, there's the Senna band, fuck. Now that puts a damper into our plans with putting Orn Senna bot. That would have been mwah, mwah, mwah. great. Uh, I think something that could flex mid or top could be cool. Nasus. Oh wait, he hovered Corky? Oh god, no. So I think here the Misfortune is not the pick. I think Misfortune here would be really bad. Sure, I can see the angle. I think you could go, go Rel and then you need an AD carry that has a dash. Like you can't, you have, you have to play Ezreal or something like that. You already have lots of damage. I think Ezreal is honestly fine, right? You're scaling up nicely. Oh, Ezreal is bad. <laughs> Professional yapper, by the way. So I don't know, Kaisa? Oh, I don't know. I don't want to look at this comp and play Kaisa. You, uh, you can't even go a AP Kaisa because of Rumble and Pyoshek. Oh, it is actually just top lane Orn blind. Like what? Self counter pick? Oh come on! No 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 no! Elisa here handshaking it? No 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 no! Orn is the support. No. Bard? I mean, Bard cope, I guess, rumble counter, I ult when he ults, he he he. Uh, let me think. Sure. There's an immob like immobile AD carry that you can ult, but honestly, like, I don't know. It's a range versus melee support matchup, so that's good if we get into standard lanes. We have, uh, I mean, we have quite the comp, but... Where's our damage actually? <laughs> like we have a Nasus, a Zix, a Vi. At, uh, how many tanks does the enemy team have? Uh, two. One is the support and one is jungle. Oh my, oh my. I'm not confident in this comp. I see the vision. I see the vision, but I also see FF at 20 because we got absolutely like fucked up. Because, I mean, we scale really, really well. But top lane is losing. Jungle is good. Mid lane, I think, is losing. I don't think that's going well. Faker also goes with the, what's his, uh, fleet footwork. So he's not going for, like, ju like ultra E spam. Um, and then, obviously, bot lane is pretty standard. Um, barrier. Yeah, I think barrier is correct. There are ideas of going like fleet, um, a fleet bard in some matchups that are decently engage heavy, but uh, I mean you do, you take it for the movement speed, not really for the heal, by the way. So that's that. You, nice dodge, uh, bro. How is he perma? Like he's body blocked so hard there. What the fuck? What? What? Yeah, like this is fine. I think Faker could just walk away, but like even with Ghost, he's so slowed. And like Faker is just out and then Guma, not Guma, sorry. Sorry, owner just is enough. And then he also walks back in after like Q2 or Q3 from BDD missed. I think... I, I can see what owner wants to do and he wants to help his teammate and all of this is very lovely to do but I I I Okay now mid top swapped this is just cringe right because one bot armor one bot magic resist <laughs> so now faker with his cloth armor lanes against rumble and the no magic mantle orn lands lanes against the AD BDD 
cringe. Ay, uh, ay, ay. I don't know. I think T1 had such a, like, like they obviously went into this, like with the trade, Rumble for 6x. And the X turned out actually to be Vi. Okay, boom, bam, pop, satchel, and poof, overkill. But nice, 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 nice. All grubs for two drakes, and it's Cloud Soul. Ah, well, actually, yeah, it's good. It's good for both teams. I think it's a bit, bit better for KT, but yeah, whatever. Ulting the wave, getting ulted by the one and only carrier. Wave is cleared. Gets a. Oh my god! Death gets the aggro. Can we get the kill? Carrier gets it and Zeus flashes out. Faker TP is in. Plus 12. And uh, yeah, they were looking for a plain bot. I think they just got some plates. I don't know. But uh, yeah, BDD is dead. BDD is dead as well. Yeah, he died in bot lane, right? There's the X. G. Eh, eh, eh. So. Yeah, in this situation, let's just see what happens here. So BDD just ults in, gets comboed, bomba, owner gets, okay, it's a one for one. I should have paid attention, Guma also died. But yeah, I mean, this situation here is just, okay. Wave dies instantly and Carrier gets an amazing Q. Deft dodges the... Uh, what is it? Zeus E against the wall with his R to reposition, but it's just not enough, especially with the big dark faker coming around. And uh, yeah, T1 with the gold leads with our super scaling comp. Again, the enemy team does also scale really well, and they are uh, they're just getting stronger, right? I mean, this is going to get even wilder, um, right? Uh, their champions are really good without items. Their champions are really good at one item. Uh, yeah, we're going to suffer for quite a while. Like rope walking or whatever. Like this is how this game is, right? At any point you have to walk this tight rope, this tight line. Uh, where uh, like if we fuck up too bad, they can just like get far ahead and then just clobber us to death. Because if this comp gets ahead, it's just over for us. It's so over. Not only are their champs really good when ahead, right? Dive in champions with high mobility, high damage, high burst, good amount of CC. Uh, yeah, I mean, just to a GG. And our champions are, yeah, uh, let's play our ranges well. Let's uh, scale and play some controlled and oh yeah, here and there. And let's wait for the great moment to, to press R. Whereas the enemy team is like, yeah, um, fuck it, we ball. Okay, Ornorn Orn comes in, real big engage, and there's a three man ult on top of it! We're getting some damage down, but it's just absolutely cringe. Guma misses it on Pyoshik. Can Zeus get anything done? Perfect, gets another shield. It's a fucking disaster. It's an ace at 15 minutes. I just said it. When we fall behind, it's GG. Oh my god, it's the Wombo combo. And fucking perfect, just presses R, Pyoshik flash R, gets three, holds them on top of the equalizer and they burn like forgotten chicken nuggets in the oven. Okay, let's see, Deft, so far he has not committed to either a full a attack speed or a full whatever build. Oh my god, it's the disaster! No, oh, what, bro? As a KT fan, how how are you happy here? I'm. A, I mean, I I guess I would love to. No, Carrier goes in for the big play, but everyone presses R. He cancels owner's ult. He cancels Guma's ult. I I I didn't even. I was just already dead inside the moment. Like did uh, Zeus ult as well? Look at this, Carrier. He just goes for the Q redirect, but cancels one ult. Three ults, no! T1 wasted 
four ults or nothing. Owner goes in, we get perfect, but uh, yeah. Hey, nice six ult, but uh, wait, that's not six, that's Bard. Yeah, but uh, again, the enemy team comp is now suddenly 6,000 gold ahead. I mean, Faker stacking up nicely, but it just doesn't matter because, uh, oh, we're 7,000 gold behind. And the enemy team has uh, 417 and 421. Uh, nice DPS champions. Oh, and, oh, wait, there's a two item a fucking, uh, what's his name? Rumble as well. So, I mean, Faker is going to win this 1v1, but, oh, suddenly, fucking 20 friends show up. Bard old. It, the timing is so... That was a very, very, very generous R range by for Pioshik there. But I mean, it just doesn't matter. It's just so fucked. And I mean... Yeah. Faker's holding the wave, farming some more, buying some time. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's good, right? Because now there's no immediate wave where they can finish the game. Uh, w for BDD. BDD has the Q, uh, QSS though. And... Yeah. And Faker doesn't have ult here. Obviously, it gets hit by the sliver of uh, BDD's ult. It's just, just how it has to go, right? Ah, for fuck's sake, this game is going to be, uh, yeah, I mean, easy is impossible, right? It's uh, GG. But we'll, we'll just have to hope. Let's get that motherfucker owner in there. And he gets ulted. He ults that. Still alive somehow. We're getting some wombo combo. And BDD has died. Wait a moment, there's the Nasus and that looks pretty fucking bad. Where's the rest of our team? Oh, Zix is all the way over there. Carrier is dead. Oh. Ah, for fuck's sakes. I think there was an angle where we could have played it. What? Oh, no, okay, he didn't aim at him. He aimed at the brush behind him. Okay, never mind. Okay, deft. Donias. And everything goes into shit. And Guma just gets executed by... Uh, yeah. So yeah. Uh, next game, my friends. Yeah. Tries to get the wave, but it's just not enough. And I mean, even if the wave dies... Yeah. There's nothing changing in this game. Sure, we outscale with Orn and whatever. But hey, the enemy team has like a real AD carry. <laughs> And uh, they also have like one of the Yazu brothers and one of the highest damage top laners and uh, two tanks that also have high CC. Yeah, everything that you kind of want. High damage, high CC, high scaling and everything. Sure, range is something, but doesn't really matter if the enemy team has no range whatsoever or is forced to walk into you for dealing damage. Anyway, shit draft, execution also rather poor. But uh, yeah, this is obviously pretty sad because now KT gets like, uh, what is it, motivation and uh, confidence again. That's not something that we really want, but hey, let's just hope we can step it up for game number two. Let's go. Okay, next draft, please don't draft shit again. It's blue side, blue side OP, right? Finally, the Yon man. We clearly have no answer for it. Faker doesn't want to pick Riven. So let's just see what's going on. Smolder, obviously, because we can't play it for some reason. So the question is, Rumble is there, Azir is there, Vi is there. So Jin Zix, what do we want to play? The Zix, okay. That should be uh, Leona... Wait, what? Interesting. Ivern. Okay, uh, no Jin. The question is now, do you pick Jin yourself to just pick it away and flex the Zix? Do you overcook like that? But honestly, it should just be Sejuani and then... Yeah, whatever. Okay, Leona, I don't get it why Leona B1, uh, R1. I just don't get it at all. Ivern, okay, Ivern is pretty good if you can play it. I don't think that's the Pyoshik champion, but Pyoshik is a bit more uh, for some random champions. So, like, no Jin. Sure, Jin, Ivern also, like, stinks. And to just blind pick Camille when Jax is open? P1 is just... Eh. 
rolling it. Sure, the Sejuani uh, with the Camille. Hey, that's nice. But, I mean, Jax, I have heard that's also pretty good. So, overall, I, I, I like both sides. I think KT's is a bit better, but both teams have something going for them. Let's see, so the bans on one side, so yeah, Poppy ban makes some sense. Seraphine, it should be... Seraphine is interesting, right? Double enchanter, double... yeah, this, that. But it should be just Jin, right? I mean, if our if our ban is not Jin, then I am wrinkling my uh, forehead or whatever. Nasus, okay, thank you. <laughs> I don't think Faker played bad Nasus, but I don't just think Nasus is uh, doing so well against what's... Oh my god. Actually, Tristana is good. Hey! They picked Cocky. That means we win, right? That's how it goes. That's how it goes. Okay, what uh, what do we need? We need a support and uh, a mid laner. So Faker counter pick here. I mean, Talia looks decent. Yeah. Obviously, Talia and Leona is a bit, yeah, but it's okay. Bard again. Why not? Why not? If you don't desperately need Let's see. What's your AD carry pick? Jin? Is it just Jin? Oh, god damn, that's insane. That's actually insane. That's really good. Right? Because Silver versus Six, I still think that's fine. Silver versus Bard is. You are? Right? You have the AS spell shield, you, even though you don't have a dash. You don't care about Talia E, and again you ha you have the spell shield for so many things, and like sure you can't do you can't dash away from Camille, but no Eddie Carey can get away from Camille if she wants to get you right. Regardless, regardless, let's just see what this game brings us. KT absolutely went into the kitchen. Oh, I'm so hungry as well. Ay ay ay, but I mean ay ay ay, man, the stakes are so high. Who wins this game? It's going to be such a game, like a, a decider for the series, right? One is going to move up to match point, and with both teams being super emotional, that's that. T1 fighting! Woo! Ay ay ay, Ivern Jax, oh god. And the silver, man, silver is so cool. Oh man. I really need to look for a cool new silver skin. I have the Winter Wonder skin, which has the great, uh, good looking, what is it, splash art. Um, but the skin in game looks fucking shit. I should have gotten fucking pack silver when it was uh, made avail available again, even though it was expensive, I think. Ay, 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 ay. So, top lane matchup. Ugh, yikes. Jungle matchup. Ugh, yikes. Mid lane matchup. Yeah, I don't know. I should. I think bad. Bot lane matchup. Uh, that's good. I hope. So KT is doing some things here and there. But yeah, uh, the the casters are not talking about it. So I think that's the cue for me to talk about it. This could be the last game. No, not the last game. The last series for uh, T1 as with this roster. And I mean BDD Deft. They're not getting any younger, right? Uh, eight game losing streak, and there were two more, I think, uh, from uh, the, uh, what is it, the playoffs? I think it's a 10 game losing streak right now, but it is what it is. So, Deft is not getting any younger, right? We all were surprised that he still had this year in him. We'll have to see. Obviously, he wants to play, but what is allowed? What is the law, right? And, I mean, BDD. I remember, I was there, right, uh, when he joined CJ Enters to save the team from uh, relegation. And I mean, what a team that was. Uh, what was it? Top lane was Shy. Who was Jungle? Was it Shy of... of oh, I'm always confused with this. No, 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 it was not Shy. Who was Top lane? Kramer was AD carry because that was already after... Um, yeah, no, Shy was the... F oh, I'm confusing names, Jesus. Uh, so it was Mata, Kramer and Botlane, then BDD and Fly, I think, 
they like had two mid laners at the time because BDD was the rookie. He was a Z1 trick or something, uh, if I remember correctly, coming up. I remember BDD is like over time BDD has also become one of the the old folks, right? And there are not that many old people left, right? It's me, Faker. <laughs> uh, yeah, BDD Dev. Who else is there in the, the LCK that's an old yeah. guy? I think that's that, right? Because, yeah, who else is there that's like old? There are some from like 17, 18, probably someone who played on like a weaker roster and on 16, maybe, I don't know, I don't think so. So, yeah, obviously Faker devs are on a different level on in terms of veterancy in comparison to BDD. I mean, I hope it's still growing. I, I mean, I honestly don't think so. We'll have to see how the changes uh, to like the scenes and the leaks are going to impact the game and the viewership. The player numbers are always rising, um, but um, yeah. And the game is like still super popular in China, but uh, we'll have to see how the West is doing. Beryl goes in against Atalia Comp, even if Talia doesn't have any items. Yeah, things happen, that has to happen. We'll have to be careful, right? Silver at this point does a surprising amount of damage, right? In these like states where no one has armor, no one has level, no one has anything. The ricochets, go they add up, right? They add up. Um, so yeah, he won, gets first blood, gets two grubbers. And uh, yeah, we're not losing too much of anything at any other point on the map. Thumbs up. We like it, we like it. But uh, yeah, he doesn't have mana for W and oh, W is on 14 second cooldown anyway. Uh, yeah, that's the flash. And he's still going to die. Anyway, next scrubbers are spawning. Obviously, we have collected two, so it's not the end of the world. But obviously, uh, yeah, tower taking is quite something that matters. Faker! What the hell happened there? Did he do that to himself? Yeah, he, he blast cloned in. Did he press the fucking blast cone himself or did carry or someone else in him? Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Either blast cone or Zix W. Guma, no! A traitor. Okay, so if, knock on wood, T1 loses the series, like the first message will be like, Guma, thank you, <laughs> thank you, Guma Yushi. <laughs> Rift Herald has been dropped. Okay, where's Faker? Shows on the ward. Oh, that's not good at all. What is T1 doing? Why is Faker not here with the team? Okay, we get the charge at least. Okay, okay. At least that's secured. Well, maybe they say without Flash, they have to respect and that guarantees the charge. Oh, nice. But uh, yeah, so Faker takes the turret. That's great. And I mean, if the call is they can't uh, stop the Rift Herald, then obviously Faker being a bot, taking the turret while they have to cope and defend. Okay, there's the Bomber. There is the Seeker's Zonias, but there's also Zeus in the backline, killing Daft immediately. That's three quick kills in succession. They're pinging the Baron. Is that the right call? Do we have enough Baron damage here? We have Trinity and nothing else really. No, 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 no. If you go Baron, then go for the Baron. Okay, mid lane turret also taken. Three kills, Baron. Actually, we're doing a good amount of Baron damage. How? I think we're just cool. Look at this play again. Yo, man, Ono with this drive by. Faker separates everything and then Zeus, like an assassin, comes around and takes off Death's head. Anything. Carry has one item. Guma again, going for the similar build uh, again in this game. Um, better than in some others, I guess. Um, sure, it does less damage in comparison than the like burn like builds, which even the burn builds, I, I mean, I, I, I am obviously stupid and don't know anything, but uh, okay, Car like Barrel is desperate, he goes in, he gets Faker's Flash anyway, but pff, yeah, uh, yeah. Death tier is uh, struggling. Maybe I underestimated how much he could do, but I mean, I, I like T1 is also massively ahead, so that's just uh, just adding injury to what is already a tough situation. Ults the E, well, at least he tries to, and now T1 just runs them down, and this is the classic T1 that we love to see. Ah, uh, beautiful, 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 
punishing mispositioning so harshly and this is also the like Zeus goes in for like something he sees and then the rest of the team helps him out and it just kind of works right that's the like what is it again hashtag brotherhood or something something what we have but yeah it's what it is uh yeah they're engaging onto guma but guma is here and they are all the way over there and as such everyone attempting to chase will meet a poor fate Zeus just goes in and yeah, spaces him to death. Oh, there's a turret. Let's get rid of that. And oh, perfect. Oh, nice flash E on uh, yeah, whatever. You see dead people. I see them too. And that's eleven. God damn it, man, my rhyme. That's twelve and two. And uh, yeah, T1 is about to end this game here. Twenty-eight minutes. And uh, yeah, I mean. Drafts again matter a lot. I think KT's draft is not unplayable. I think they have cool things going for them. But uh, yeah, <laughs> again, the early game just doesn't go like how they wanted to. Like any time they try to swap around, they can't really do like go too far into it because the enemy team has six. You just lose too much. So they have to swap back. And I feel like they're they're losing a bit and and there and here and there, right? Like why would you swap in like in with these matchups like? You have a good top lane matchup, you swap, a, like, and then you swap and do, like, crazy shenanigans that can only end up worse for you. Because, again, you have a better top lane matchup, enemy team has Ziggs, you're just putting yourself into a rough situation with these maneuvers. Uh, again, I think the Sylvia is not too bad, but if you fall too far behind uh, in this case here, right, and the, uh, and the front lane just melts before the Sylvia can even do anything, it's just too, it's just too rough. And uh, overall, I think much better game by T1. We see when they have champs with a bit more agency and not three losing lanes, kinda, it works out a bit well. And yeah, obviously Zix continues to be quite the champion. Regardless, let's go into hopefully the last game of the series. Game number four? Yes, let's go. Okay, let's get it, let's get it. Come on T1 fans, give me a T1 fighting. Oh, I think, I think it's Rumble first pick already uh, leaked because we got to see on the screens regardless uh yeah no okay then i miss then maybe it was the animation of rumble being banned i don't know what i saw there anyway hey hope you have like drinks and snacks hey are you enjoying yourself with this video why have you not subscribed like maybe we can get to 1k subscribers and do some specials or something else i mean we just reached 700 subscribers last month or something great and let's really ramp it up for worlds i mean I just want to kick out and do so much content, uh, but sadly, real life is just like uh, grabbing my balls like that. Regardless, uh, but enough about this stupid stuff. Uh, T1, they have banned three powerful Yordles, which means the Maokai comes through, and the Maokai, people are saying he's like overhyped or like he's not so good. I mean, <laughs> like his ultimate is just so fucking stupid. It just generates so much space, just so much immediate threat. And I mean, the rest of his abilities are all right as well. I mean, is E cheats vision, everything, anything that cheats vision in pro play is just like, like so high value that you may not un un uh, appreciate, but I mean, it's just great. That's one of the reasons why I love Ash so much. Sure, her like arrow is nice. Have you seen her E though? It's amazing. Obviously in this meta, I don't think it's as valuable. Or, I mean, it has its place, but in lane swap matters, usually you know where the enemy support is, you know where the enemy jungler is, without seeing them, because you, like, you know where they can't be, and so on and so on, right? It's a, like, textbook uh, gameplay. So, map vision, like Ash, Air, Ash E, is less valuable. If we get a swap. If we don't, obviously, it's it's insane. Uh, yeah, what else can we talk about? BDD gets his Yone. <sighs> Faker picks Talia again. I mean, looked really good on it, obviously. Let's not talk about the W timings here and there, but it's okay. So, blind pick Jax. AP Gragas, okay. I mean, Gragas versus Jax is quite fine, right? Gragas is just such an overpowered champion. His kit is so crazy. It's one of the it's one of the best kits, as, like, as a whole, I think. Um, like, in the tank, tank question mark role. Like his E is just crazy. I mean, everything everything is good. Every ability of his is good. Like his passive bit till is ultimate. I mean, his uh, I can talk about Gragas for days. 
But uh, yeah, matchup is going to be fine. Let's see if he actually goes for some AP or just AP tank or just full tank, whatever. I think he should go AP, right? Obviously, they need the AP source and going for some uh, juicy bombers onto Talia and uh, Ash. It's going to be interesting, but it's going to be harder when there's a Braum shield. Braum versus MF ult. Braum doesn't block the Yon ult, obviously, I think. Shouldn't be coded as a projectile, right? Uh, and yeah, Poppy here, I mean... What is she going to do, right? There's not that much going on uh, in terms of dashes, right? Obviously, Poppy versus Jax, yes, but that's about it, right? So the bot lane matchup, I think overall, is just really beneficial for T1. Like, the double frost motherfuckers, they're going to, like, kick your kneecaps in, and you're not going to move for, like, at least three days. That's also, uh, like, how KT will feel after T1 has finished them off. That's a lot of desperation. T1! T1 fighting! I missed I, I missed the moment. I'm sorry. I bow down in shame. I like good Gragas players, it's just scary, right? Because they utilize like your approaches to to win the lane, and then they just have such an easy way to have impact in the in the team fight stage later on. They can make picks, they can go like for damage if they want to, like if you are that bad. And uh yeah. Let's just see. Carrier's tanking nicely. Not sure if Ona need to flash, but the turret was getting kind of strong. Anyway, this is what happens, right? If your top laner is in the 1v3 and the jungler and support have CC, right? In comparison to game number one where it was Senna and uh, uh, what is it called? The deer, uh, Lilia. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's that. So T1 starts the game with another first blood for Guma. Anyway, they try to dive us. Carrier has the E. But uh, yeah, obviously it's quite scary. Guma gets clipped by one thing. Faker is around as his owner and we pick up one kill and a flash. Barrel flashes as well. So that's three flashes and a one for one. But Guma dies and has a flash and he cleans and loses some CS. So overall, it's not the worst thing for KT. But again, as always with like flash things, can we? Punish it! Uh, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. I, I just hope to see it. Yeah, we just reached the new day. So, yeah, now it's, I don't know, officially, t like, what, 15 hours after the series originally aired. I, w I mean, I just didn't touch my phone the entire day, really. I mean, I looked at, uh, I just didn't look at any messages in terms of, like, news. I didn't open YouTube. Just uh, WhatsApp messages, of course, like chatting with my family, but uh, didn't open YouTube, not on social media, nothing. I didn't want to get spoiled whatsoever for this. I had to wait, 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 wait. That was a boring ass break, by the way. Sitting in the break room, eating food and it's like waiting. Usually you watch the, watch the YouTube videos, but <laughs> I'm not risking opening YouTube and I don't know, seeing Kedril. Ooh, T1 not at Worlds or uh, whatever uh, bullshit. So, uh, yeah. Waiting the entire day for the series and, I mean, so far it's worth it. Regardless, regardless. 1-2, 200 gold the lead. Barrel forced to flash. Man, that guy has 10 flashes, 10 lives. What the hell? Anyway, anyway, anyway. 1-2 at 30 minutes. Pretty calm in that regard. But KT is trying things and T1 is holding themselves against it. Carrier and owner so far have tried their best and succeeded in protecting our dear friends. And I mean also uh, like Deft has not uh, been caught or killed uh, yet. Because like once Gragas has lost chapter, uh, it's like every mage really. They have infinite mana and Gragas obviously has also like somewhat infinite sustain and in, in top lane terms right with this passive and obviously like some runes and items he can go for anyway they attack our owner guy here that's not cool owner has no ult perfect flash guma gets the cleanse again but that will be the herald for kt i don't know man i mean i don't get it like if bdd goes in can't owner just look at him and just smack him like what Oh no, Faker. Yeah, gets the flash, still gets stunned. Unfair is what I call this. And yeah, yeah, tank based damage is enough. Very weird. But uh, 
Yeah, it is what it is. Okay, perfect. Goes for something here. Oh, it's so close. Minions! No, the minions don't help. First blood turret for KT. Helping them uh, with their game state here right now. Barrel is caught, but... Did he buffer his E? Help! No, owner. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> nice. Anyway, T1 is trying to corral them. We have a bit of a range advantage. But... Engage Braum, okay. The the Braum ult is there. Uh, the E is there, but the fo in terms of follow-up, I think it was all a bit too early. And again, the combo doesn't fucking work. He gets the fucking jump. It's just fucking insane how nothing works out for us. Like, if there's a situation where it's split HP, KT is gonna fucking take that. Okay, I mean they get something done and oh wait faker again with the classic faker TP in the middle of the entire team That's my goat man Just throws away the game. I don't get it. His TPs are so bad. I Mean TPs also channel for 10 minutes, so maybe he channeled the TP when not everyone of uh, KT was in vision, right? Like who would expect five members to show up in topside? But I, 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 I. anyway, 20 seconds. Perfect doesn't have a uh, flash, but he has. He will have ult again when the fight breaks out. Faker comes in, gets poppied, and yeah. On the other side, we're also kind of losing the fight. Guma is losing. Faker obviously gets continued to get poppied. Wait, we got a kill there though. Owner, okay. This time we have that fucking stupid luck of living with 10 HP. I just fucking don't care. Anyway, can we get the dragon? Hello, hello. Why are we... It's, it's just barrel. It's just barrel support. Carrier can chase them, but that's the maximum. Okay, so that will be a one team fight. We, it's a two for one. That's a win. It's rough, it's rough. Owner gets full combo. Carrier puts down the wall, but it's just not enough. He gets the ult down in the last moment. And Zeus gets ulted into the team. And just falls, and we can't kill Pyoshik in the meantime as well. Guma again, not getting any chance to dish out some damage. Ay, 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 man. The fights are just so disruptive. Fucking Gragas old, Maokai old. Then Poppy is also there. I don't know, maybe she ulted someone into the fucking next game. What is Carrier doing? Just runs in, gives it an auto attack? Ah, for fuck's sakes. They literally just stand there, it's like, uh, let's do Baron, and T1 is like, no, you don't do Baron, and they still, like, it still works out for them. I mean, owner gets everything, BDD cleanses, but just doesn't matter, Faker, just, I mean, he's just not dealing any relevant damage, and yeah, the insect ult onto Zeus is just rough. And Guma, I mean, again, we saw it in multiple fights now, he, like, in most cases, he does not have access to the fight, he can't deal the damage needed. Zeus here goes with the team fighting Jax, uh, which makes sense, right? You can't really split push here. Faker again. BDD, East, but yeah. Pyoshik is also there. Like five people from the enemy team are there before our team is even like remotely close. Well, four people. Owner flash, carrier flash. Faker dies without flashing himself. Pyoshik flashes. We didn't lose anything big, right? So no objective up. It sucks, but uh, it's just not the worst thing, right? It's... Uh, okay, this is very bad. This is very, very, very fucking bad. No Guma ult and no carrier ult and carrier is dead. 30 seconds while Baron is exactly right there. Ay, 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 ay. So we have a ward, so it's not the worst thing, right? But owner doesn't have flash. Barrel is channeling the old. Ah, sh for fuck's sakes, man. Why can't we have that? Why can't we have something going in our favor? Like, if, if the odds are not for us, it just doesn't work. Like, things are just not going... I mean... So Baron... Two people dead, 8k, 8K gold lead, 
Ah, oh, shit, man. Ah, shit. So 10,000 gold down. And, uh, yeah. We have just been run. Uh, I don't fucking know what happened here. Enemy team has Maokai. Enemy team has... Uh, I mean, I didn't expect the Poppy to be this effective, but... I mean... We don't even get to fucking play the game. Uh, I think there's also a big issue of how we played this comp in... Obviously not now. Now the game is already over for the last 30 minutes. Wait, actually Pyoshi maybe caught here. Guma is allowed to do some damage. At least for a few more moments. But hey, obviously he's still alive. Oh, we do we find Deft? Well, we find something, but no. We just find the fucking door for next game. Jesus fucking Christ, it's a disaster. Ay, ay, ay. I mean, also 11k. The, the pockets are uh, a bit heavy here at this point. Yeah, I mean, playing the game now with 12k is is not easy or what? Okay, yeah, I mean, it's just, I maybe the fucking gist comes out of my fucking headphones after they gurgle their dicks so hard. But, uh, yeah, um, again, it's, it's a similar thing from uh, one of the earlier, uh, I mean, actually, it's a similar thing we see too, with T1 quite often. Um, pick champions that are, again, what did I describe the comp at? We have pick potential and we have control. And we, we have a control comp and we see fucking Jax go in. Engage Braum, right? That's just... If we're desperate, then just fuck it, we ball. But that stuff happened way too early. So, yeah, that's uh, that's uh, that's an issue. Um, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, we go to game number five, for fuck's sakes. And it's a common mistake. It's a common mistake. And again, I ask myself, seeing stuff like that repeat again and again, right? Look at these champions. None of these champions wants to go in. Besides Zeus, but Zeus doesn't even want to be in a team fight. Besides these fucking LCK players who have this fetish of fucking team fighting with Jax. Actually, it's LPL does it too, right? They have this uh, team fighting Jax fetish, so that's that. So I guess then Jax wants to go in. Skarnar can go in, but it's similar to uh, to Jarvan, right? Sure, going in is pretty good for him, but he can also play a bit more controlled and just ult the divers. Uh, so I don't understand why we are doing these things, right? We played out the early game, decently defensive here. This one ended up being a one for one, if I remember correctly. Um, and yeah, that's like, that's fine. We got three summoner spells or something. And here, that's the fight that I meant. We sadly don't see the start of it, but look where Zeus is. Look where, uh, what's his name? Uh, like owner and carrier are. They are just booga, booga. And like Faker has to, uh, yeah, I mean, he ults at the later point, but I think he TP'd into the fight or something like that. Yeah, it was just really messy. Here, classic Faker TP just absolutely being triple dog shit. He nearly got away with it. I mean, TPing and then immediately flashing out, but still got caught by the Gragas ult. And anything here at this later point is, uh, yeah, also just a situation where we shouldn't be in, right? The KT comp has more gold, has more map control than they should have had. Um... And yeah, here at the end, it just doesn't matter. We're 12,000 gold behind. Uh, but of course, Pyoshik lives with a sliver of HP. I mean, Deft lives with a bit more HP. And uh, yeah, I mean, the rest just doesn't count. Everyone else, again, we try to make a pick on yeah, Pyoshik, which sure, there's something that we can do. But um, yeah, again, what does it mean if we use all our cooldowns on like a semi-tank? What is it? Maokai, we don't have anything for the fight, which would already be a loss, but yeah. <sighs> big, big scythe, and uh, yeah. It goes to game number five, completely unnecessary. Similar to the DK series where, yeah, we are just losing games. We are losing games. But hey, this is what uh, everyone probably says that about their team, that they are the ones losing, and that's not the enemy team winning. Maybe that's just my cope. Anyway, game number five. In T1 we trust, in T1 we trust. I guess, till I see the draft, right? Okay, please, please, man. Please don't draft shit, please. Knock on wood, knock on head, knock on leg, lock on gear, lock on everything, man. Please don't draft shit. Blue side OP, blue side has won four games in the series. Maokai ban, okay, good. Please don't do stupid shit. Just 
basic things that worked out in this series so far. Smolder Band, good. So it's not a non-game where Smolder just scales and other one is desperate to stop Smolder from scaling and loses while doing so. Just ban Yon, please. Like, you don't have an answer for it. You're not comf- like, BDD is too comfortable with it. Faker, please, just say it. Fuck it. I know you can't handle him in lane, doesn't matter. Later on, BDD is just too comfortable with it. Just say... Not Jax. <sighs> BDD is now like, yeah, boy. So what do you ban? Maokai, Zix, Rumble. Like, Zix is left open in terms of power picks. What do you now? Do you now go for, like, some Ash stuff again? You take the Yone away. Okay. Faker can play Yon, but it's clearly not his best champion. I, I mean, it is what it is. I mean, if they would be really fucking nasty, they go fucking Gragas Yasuo now, and we get fucking Yon Yasuo mid lane, and it's just uh, the biggest anime stuff ever. But, uh, I mean, hey. Please, KT, just draft some stupid shit and let us just get a, get a free win. Let's just get us to worlds, leave this, ho hopefully, leave this matter behind us. And then just think stuff over. I don't want the, the the end of this lovely T1 roster. I mean, I love these boys, man. It's the longest. I think is it the overall longest standing roster of all time? I, I don't remember anyone who's been together for like what three years plus, depending on again how you count it, right? Obviously, uh, there's the situation with Zeus and Kana, who are obviously slotted in later. Um, okay. Jin, T1 and Jin in game 5, okay, owner, he says he has it, he says he has it, he, he will be the sole AP for our team, unless we go Gwen top lane again with Lilia, oh my, oh my, blind Camille, okay, honestly last game top lane went as expected, right? Jax is strong, but I think it's a bit overvalued. And uh, Gragas is very fucking strong and very OP. There's a reason why Gragas is like Gragas, Sejuani, like these champions, when they're meta, they're so good. They are like so uh, high in priority. You want, you, you just want them on your team because they're always going to be useful. When they're ahead, great. When they're behind, they're still useful. It's just so many good... What can we see? Okay, Gwen ban. <laughs> Sad. I mean, I would have loved Gwen, but obviously... I don't trust T1 to set up a Gwen game. Uh, at, at Worlds, it was... I mean, obviously... Individual play mattered a bit more in Worlds, right? This right now is a meta that is far removed from, like, individual play. To some extent, right? Uh, it's more about like team play and like smarts not saying that mechanics and whatever doesn't matter obviously but like we don't have a laning phase for fuck's sakes laning phase is like the moment like, the part of the game where individual prowess shine the most i think we can all agree on that right and then next is team fighting but team fighting is not something that happens out of nowhere it is built upon five players or multiple players coming together and like the strength of the team is also precedent upon Okay, I, I talked a lot of shit about the, uh, yeah, the meta and whatever else because the draft has been pretty boring and like pretty non-relevant, but we picked the 11-game losing streak, Corky? What the fuck are you guys doing? No, no. Okay, but this is rad. This is wild. Yon, Camille, top lane. Who, who can win? Zeus, please dominate this matchup. He won fighting! Okay, okay. Headphone free, right? So that I don't tilt because of, I don't know, commentators saying something which I uh, don't agree with. And uh, yeah. I am uh, someone who tilts easily, I guess. To some extent. Whatever, whatever. Enough Yappin. Let's talk about the, the game, which was also Yappin. Whatever. Top lane matchup. It's fucking wild, man. Zeus, please dominate him. Man, you are like the biggest skill diff. 
has to be top lane. Has to be. And I mean, if Zeus got the chance and like pick for it, it worked out. It worked out? Yes, yes, it did. But hello, hello. It's like last game you got fucking plop, 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 plop by the Gragas, man. Jungle matchup. Owner, it's it's all on you. Like, owner, it's on you. Like, uh, we sacrificed so much in our draft for this. Um, so, do your fucking job, please. Uh, yeah, okay, mid lane is interesting. Low HP situation, I think it's not too bad. Uh, because we have like a bit more sustain uh, with Dorans and like Carrier is going to like execute the next minion for more HP. Okay, okay. Carrier is not executing a minion now. Okay, he flashes in. BDD buffers the W. Uh, this is of a telegraph play, but hey, still good. Still good. Decently helpful for, for Faker situation. It's a cannon wave now, so oh, that's just so costly. You can't recall on cannon wave, bro. You need that extra gold. Otherwise, you're just cooked. Nice there by Zeus. Uh, gets the knockup. Channels the old, but other old is channeled. Pyoshik's not level 6, so that's that. But they still have enough. It's fucking disgusting. It's fucking disgusting. If we play right, which sadly, who fucking knows? Uh, T1 doesn't even know if they play right. They probably don't even know what that means. Uh, yeah. At least owner this time. Oh my fucking god. At least this time Owner was there, so uh, I was about to flame uh, flame him again this game because it's the it's the typical Owner like goes <laughs> just slightly ahead in CS, but the enemy jungler gets like five ganks in and just puts all lanes behind. Uh, yeah, and I mean both supports are like circle jerking in bot lane, but somewhat barrel first on the rotation. Something that should have been communicated, but I mean they were expecting uh, Pyoshik to still sit in that brush, so that's that. But if BDT gets ahead, again, look at our comp. Many squishy people, carrier fucking Q is the only reliable form of lockdown, everything else. I mean he has Ashima. Yes, it's uh, E, but it's just, yeah. Okay, double sleep, Faker here, caught on the side lane, but people are opening up with their ults. But yeah, I mean... 180 carries in the fight and one tries to shoot from 20 kilometers away. BDD will get his first kill there. And it's an 0-3 start and I'm getting my knives out. Jesus, man. Why, 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 why? 500 gold lead is not the most troubling situation, right? Uh, but hey, perfect after like getting kind of gapped in the 1v1s with like a 20 CS deficit. Hey, what about if we get you some free kills and assists, right? Nice. Just really helps if we set up the opponent's win conditions just like that. And like, sure, one kill went to barrel. Yeah, um, fuck you. Who hell cares? No kill is on our carry, so that's that. Hey, uh, owner, what are you doing? Zeus has the flash or he flashes away. Again, Zeus needs to play fucking 1v5. Meanwhile, yeah, I mean, in the end, it's death flash for a Zeus flash, which, like, in theory, that should be good for us. In theory. But in practice, if Zeus falls behind, it's game over. Like, if death dies once uh, in that situation, right, like, they're not going to lose too much of everything, anything. Uh, there's no dive possible. <laughs> like, what? What? What are they doing? Wait, BDD TP'd in. Hey, 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 hey. <sighs> I hate it here. I fucking hate it here. I just... Look at the HP bars. Look at the fucking HP bars. Oh, no, my PC crashed. Shit. Is it my PC? Or is it just the video? Okay, just the video post. <sighs> Okay. I, yeah, I, I had some technical issues in the last couple of days, so just like I, I may need to slap gently. Nice. So, uh, yeah, they got a kill. We didn't get two kills and expected uh, and spend it TPs and something else. And hey, it's again a 2v1. Where's owner? Farming his fucking jungle camps. Like he is only fucking 10 CS ahead of Pyoshik. A level. Who cares about a level in the jungle? 
like uh, jungle means yeah um, actually i'm challenging um, jungle roll um a lever is a lot sho shove your fucking level down your ass if you're fucking top laners o2 in a s skill s damage whatever carry matchup it's like yeah fuck you uh, who cares about the fucking jungle one level lead so mid lane is very fucking rough leblanc now has two kills and Merc Tread, so she won't even be CC'd for that long. Uh, they are again going in. Where is our team? Our team is right there. So we set up a kill here, but it's a one for one. And BDD is first, so please don't give the kill to him. It's a three kill the no. It's like, I don't even know what's going on. Like, sure, Faker gets something in the side lane, but then why are we, like, continuing that play? Actually, we didn't force it. Perfect. Like, E, E, what is it again? E... Hold it in. What the fuck? This is one item LeBlanc, by the way. <laughs> nice game, Riot Games. Uh, yeah, yeah. But again, we are posturing for a play. So we are not engaging it, but we are posturing aggressively while Faker is in a split push situation. By the way, great, we are split pushing. But yeah, I mean, hey. It's just great. Owner gets the kill, so let's see what he does with that. At least he was at a play, so that's that. And by the way, Pioshik is again bot. Where's owner? Farming fucking uh, blue buff now. It's blue buff now. And yeah, Zeus plays it great again. But Deft is also here. It. This is insane. Zeus, you are insane. Like that you're not fucking standing up and punching your teammates. I know that it, it takes a lot of restraint. But what is owner doing? What is he doing? Why did he do that? I can't, I can't believe it. Zeus is 1v3 bot, gets a 1 for 1. Mad props, mad props. Uses his flash, but mad props. Faker, yeah, he's doing the, like, the average thing that you would expect a mid lane cocky to do at this point. Like, look at the map. Like, he's in top side farming. Owner farming his jungle camps while everyone, like, just look at the situation. It's insane. Now, you could make the argument, okay, Zeus, why are you in bot lane? At least owner's farming has paid off now and he's still one level ahead and what is that 7 27 cs something like that faker tries to defend the turret well at least for now oh we are forcing a play oh my oh my zeus ease but yeah what comes back needs to i don't know what the metaphor is no 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 so d different direction there there is the sa their safety no please no oh my god actually he gets a thick ult but god i hate it here i hate it here that's the real bdd oh no fuck him up fuck him up oh my god it's so illegal it is so illegal but i just don't care they could be fuck no no they could not do that but i yeah 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 okay baron it's just... By the way, this is not my underpants, this is sport pants. So, uh, we're not fucking loot uh, content creators. Get that Pioshik guy out of out of here. Okay. It's so illegal. It's so illegal. We survived the first wave of engages. And this uh, KT comp is... They, they can't go in out, right? Only LeBlanc can do that. And, I mean, Camille could, but... If she commits into this T1 comp, she's pretty committed. So, Deft old dashed out and dashed out, so that's that. Here I'm having a fucking heart attack, but Jin opens up and Barrel tries to stop it, but Zeus gets a massive fucking old Yon balance, by the way. And uh, yeah, here on the side, Owner. No, no, was it Owner? I think Guma found a W onto BDD and then Owner followed up. Where it's not over now. It's, it's not over for now. Items looking good. Zeus gets rewarded. That guy uh, had the fucking most typical top lane experience, right? It was 2v1, 3v1. They even got 4v1 situation set up against him. And fucking owners playing like this cell phone song, uh, fucking farming his jungle camps. Uh, this is so me, by the way. I love farming my camps. I love farm. I mean, hey, if League of Legends brings out a fucking PvE mode, just farming minions, I'll reach fucking ranked 39 on that one. I'll just do it, man. Okay, here we get a uh, sleep. And just don't overextend. Oh, nice snipe. 
Uh, yeah, this is a bit overextending, but we're just chasing down kills while we're at like 8,000, 9,000 gold ahead. Faker says hi to Deft. And uh, yeah, we're pinging the base. I mean, 45 seconds could be enough to end. We have a <coughs> average <coughs> minion wave, right? What do you mean it's small? It's average, average minion wave here. And we have uh, a couple of grubbers, so maybe it's enough. And T1 is calling, yes. They're calling Boeing or whatever. And yeah, we are booking our place to worlds. The story of Faker, Zeus, owner, Guma and Carrier is not over yet. We continue to move to worlds because I mean, sure, it's by plane, but Faker opens up the roads, opens up the way. Ay, ay, ay. Carrier beats Barrel. We beat fucking Pyoshik, Deft, Barrel, these motherfuckers <laughs> from 2020. Oh, for fuck's sake. But it was exhausting. Uh, I honestly say we saw improvements, right? The, again, we lost the two games in the series. We lost, lost by draft and by playing a defensive comp aggressively. This could have happened at any other point in the story of T1's lifetime. So this is not something where it's like, oh, uh, T1 is bad, the meta is bad and so on and so on. This last game was pretty rough and pretty crazy. I mean, we got the thumb, thumbs up, very nice. Ay, 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 I still have lots, lots to say and I said lots of negative things. I mean, it's pretty sad, again, not the biggest Def fan, but everyone Def BDD. If you're a boomer, right, you're my friend, so that's that. And yeah, it, considering that this might have been like their last series, for Deft obviously it's a bit more obvious than for BDD. For BDD it's fucking rough. He carried that fucking team throughout all of summer. And this is how they repay him, right? Even in this last game, he was the like the LeBlanc that did shit, uh, get shot. What am I saying? Did get shit done. Um, yeah. I mean, the, the top lane gap was like wild. Sure, Yon is very strong and um, Zeus is also better. Uh, and the matchup is good for, for Yon versus Camille. But like he just, oh my God. If, if Zeus folded in this like matchup, this could have been so bad. This could have been so much worse. The fact that like Faker got to chill, right? Because so much aggression and so much attention of KT was spent on like trying to uh, put Zeus behind. Zeus gets MVP, by the way, for this series. 100%. 100%. I mean, uh, yeah. Others also played good. Guma, as always, old faith faithful. I mean, what was, was it? Game number one, his Zix was in, like insane. Oh, yeah, yeah. I just, uh, I just can't. Uh, fine. We are at Worlds, so fuck it, we roll. Hope you enjoyed this bitch ass long video. I'm going to fucking edit this till. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, anyway, <laughs> take care of yourself. Again, if you enjoyed it, right? If you watched till this point, hey, God bless you. Take care of yourself and your loved ones. And hey, maybe slap that like button. Maybe post a positive comment. Uh, T1, I believed in you. And. We see each other with more Worlds content in the next couple of days. Bye bye my friends.